I did not know that Angie had all this furniture in here. I got a smoking deal on this thing. Making progress on the art department. And I'm super, super, super excited. We haven't done a lot here because I wanted to finish up on the gold apartment. I don't have limitless subs that I can trust. So I wanted Joaquin to focus on those other projects and get them completed before we started moving forward on this. obviously doing a lot in uh, this room. This is this kind of uh, uglier marble that we are ripping up to do a Carrera marble tile that will tie in with the hardwood floors. We didn't have all the demo done, so they're completing the demo on the floors. This was a closet and a master bathroom. We demoed that to turn it into one big bathroom. demoed this closet. Now this used to be the closet for this room, this smaller room right here. This used to be kind of an opening for the hallway. This used to be the end of the hallway. But the new walk-in closet for the master, it's gonna extend to that point on the ground right there. There you go, yep. All the way to here. This is gonna be built across like this. So basically from where I'm standing out to about right here is gonna be our new walk-in closet for the master. From here over, we're gonna build a small closet, just assuming that this is gonna be a guest room or a room for a child, something like that. They're starting to chisel out the canals, for lack of a better word, for the electrical. This is what they have to do, they have to, by hand, chisel out because this is cement and brick right this is for the electrical so the guys come in here and hand chisel this based on the blueprints and then jose my electrician he'll come in run the wires then they'll go back over it with the trial with hand they'll cement over it and then you'll have the electrical right here for your television But really, it's just about completely doing the demolition process so then they can come in here, chisel out the canals for all the new electrical and the new plumbing. I'm super stoked about today because we're going on a, another property tour. We're looking at a couple apartments. The reason I'm really excited about the first property that we're going to is it's on one of my favorite streets in Alejandria, which is this little tiny neighborhood in Poblado. Just really quiet, right next to the Golden Mile. Great location. So I've got high hopes for the apartment that we're going to right now. Sebastian is my trusty assistant here. Sebastian's really the person that finds all these deals. So tell us your process. It's a whole mess because, for example, I have to go around the scooter everywhere, each street, and like stopping every few meters just to check out all the all the angles because it can be hidden behind a tree or a fence or something. And when you say it, you're talking about a for sale sign. Yes. So imagine this being your driveway where every single day you come home from work, you pull in here and you've got these bamboo, I think those are trees, <laughs> not exactly a green thumb, just really gorgeous. Como estas? Mucho gusto, Alejandra. They've definitely redone this elevator, so the HOA is really paying attention to this building. Size and house price. 85. What's the price? 330. The reason we're looking at this is because Sebastian thought this might be a good Airbnb. To do this by the book in Medellin, you have to have 60% majority of the 
owners to allow the building to do short term. That said, this is a complete guess, but I'd say 50% of the Airbnb rentals, they're not doing that. They're, it's a big gray area. They just rent them out regardless. I wouldn't suggest doing that, but different strokes for different folks. You could do Airbnb here, it'd be awesome because it's 85 square meters, but you've got you've still got three bedrooms. <laughs> so you've got an in-suite bathroom here, which we could remodel super super easy. You got a nice little closet right here. So you got your typical enclosed kitchen. Nice and peaceful though. So they're selling because they want to take the money and invest. Did she had it for investment this place? Now she wants to invest in another place that's bigger. How long she owned it? She may have had it for 15 years. Right. So she bought it for free, basically. Okay. And how long has she had it on the market for sale? Six months. So she's negotiable. They started at 360, now it's 330. All right, cool. All right, so we just got done with that apartment. I'm going through the numbers in my mind and I just don't see how you could get more than, I would say maybe a thousand. And again, I can't really speak to Airbnb because I've never done it before. It does give someone the opportunity to invest in the best area in Medellin and it allows you to get in for under a hundred thousand US. All right coming into the gold apartment here oh wow we got the lights on. Not daily, but probably two or three times a week. I've got to come in and check up on everything. Make sure there's progress, doing quality control. I did not know that Angie had all this furniture in here. It's good to see that we're making a lot of progress. But check this chair out, that's really cool. I like how that's got the, the chrome on there. Lots of shiny stuff in this apartment. <laughs> there's no lack of shiny things here. That is for sure. I have no clue where she's gonna put the, <laughs> that looks like an exterior light. I don't know where that's going. We'll, we'll have to see. This is looking good, I like that. Let's see if I can turn that light on. Yeah, you see that? You see how you can actually see the, I don't know if that's filament or what that's called, but that's kind of really popular here in Medellin. And, and a lot of the higher end restaurants in Provenza. This is just a little dinner table. It's gonna go right here under these lights. So you know what? I can actually almost set this up here. So we didn't have as much room there for the dinner table as we'd like, but not too bad. And then we'll have the bar stools here. Plus we've got four bar stools. So let's check out the rest of the apartment. Wow. Oh, look at this. Wow, look at that headboard she did. Wow, that is a leather headboard. Man, that looks good. You've got the white, dark gray, light gray. There's that pattern. You got the king size bed. You've got the cabinets in here. Look at this too, this isn't good. Mm. This has orange peel everywhere on it. Oh, we didn't put a fan in here. This is still flat. They didn't put the finish coat on the sides. They probably forgot to do that. Hmm, yeah, the... Yeah, I'm still not happy with these cabinets. Hopefully they can make that look better because this, this isn't, uh, that's not gonna work.
Your guy, what he say about? He want to rent now he or says, what? This is my favorite place. I love it. I would rent it right now, but I need to see it finished. I need to see how the real furniture looks like, how are the beds, and of course, he loves it. Like that bedroom that's almost done, he's like, I would even stay in this bedroom, it's so beautiful, I love it. But just because there's not as much as things or shit laying around, right. you know, that's why he sees it so beautiful. If I really start promoting it with pictures, I think, you know, many more people are gonna be interested. Yeah, okay, so let's, so let's do this, let's get it done by Wednesday and uh, let's get it all ready, pictures taken, let's market it for a week, and if we don't get it rented right away, we'll come back in, pull off, do the painting, and then we'll re-market re it. That sounds like a plan. So you guys saw this morning the big problem that I had over at the gold apartment. Those cabinets, I really was not happy with those. The countertop, if you wanna call it that, in the closet, really not happy with that. There were parts of the apartment that I was really excited about, the parts that Angie had done with the design, the furniture, but we had some big, big issues that I had to address. I went back there, I wanted to check the work of a new painter that we hired that we brought in to hopefully finish and to fix the mistakes that had been made. The deal was he was gonna come in and just paint a table. I was gonna see how the table looked. If the table looked good, then we were gonna hire him to fix everything. And then I come to find out that Angie already has two people that are interested in renting the apartment for $2,000 a month. The problem with going through that whole painting and fixing all the paint with the cabinets and fixing the doors is that's gonna take three weeks to a month. And these particular renters want to move in right away if they decide to go with this apartment. So we're gonna go out and hold off on fixing everything because they like it as is. They wanna do a six month lease. And then if they do that after the six months, then we're gonna fix everything. Alrighty, so we left that drama behind at the gold apartment. Now we're over at one of my brand new projects. This apartment I'm referring to as the platinum apartment. The other one was called the gold apartment, so I just called this the platinum apartment. <laughs> That's the honest truth. I got a smoking deal on this thing. This is 187 square meters, and I purchased this for 375 million pesos. This is a penthouse. We've got the wood vaulted ceilings. Generally, I buy apartments that are really cheap, so it's not often that I can buy a flip that's got this great of a view. We're right next to Poblado Avenue. This is the Golden Mile right here. You cannot get a better location than this. What are we gonna do with this place? I'm gonna leave these hardwood floors. We're gonna refinish them and stain them a little bit darker to make them look more modern. We're gonna open up this kitchen like we always do. It's claustrophobic like all Colombian apartments, but once you open it up, you got a lot of space. This is gonna become our living dining area right here. And believe it or not, above these ceilings, we've got the vaulted wood like you can see here. And then the other side of the apartment is where the bedrooms are. This is our first little bedroom here. What I love about this, of course, are the hardwood floors. We're gonna blow out this wall, open up this space, create a bigger bedroom, and then also an in-suite bathroom. This bathroom, we're just gonna redo. We're gonna leave it here, just new tile, new toilet. I'll probably be able to keep that shower glass. It's got a skylight, which is pretty cool. Another great thing about this for you newbies, and the pros know this, but the newbies don't. See, this actually has real wood trim, and I can salvage this wood trim and that saves me a lot of money. This is the second bedroom. A little bit bigger, and you know, you've got your entertainment system already there. Uh, vaulted ceilings, really, really cool. Got your closet in here, a couple closets, so we're just gonna make this look new. And what's really neat about this room is you've got a terrace. Come right out here, and then you've got those views of Medellin that aren't spectacular for Medellin. Medellin has some amazing views, but uh, they're not bad. Now we go to my favorite part, which is the master bedroom. Even for my remodels, this is a giant master. We're gonna refinish these floors, stain them. We're gonna redo the, the baseboards, 
get a real high gloss white. We're gonna redo these walls, put an eggshell paint on them, extend this closet. It doesn't have to be much bigger, but it'd be nice if we had a little bit bigger closet here. I'll wall this in and just build a, an extra closet right there. Got the jacuzzi tub. It doesn't look that nice right now, but we're gonna sand this, refinish it. It's gonna look like something straight out of a magazine or just a super high-end hotel. The bathroom, we've already got a double vanity. Yeah, I've gotta change the sinks, I've gotta change the countertops. Generally, I have to build this space in a suite, so to already have it there waiting, that's just awesome. We've already got a great space for the shower, already got a space here for the toilet. We have to demo all the old tile, replace it with new tile, just replace everything with new stuff, and we're pretty much good to go in here. We've got just such a great space to begin with, and you got great bones in here. Okay guys, so that's the Platinum Apartment. Super excited about the project. I'm really stoked to show you guys on the vlog. And like the Art Apartment, like the Gold Apartment, we're gonna be following the progress of this from start to finish. You can see it right now in its original state. In about two or three months, it's gonna look a hell of a lot different. Trust me. Okay, so we're here at Dance Free, which is a local dance studio. And I'm here for one reason, and one reason only. And that's to show all the Colombians out there that the stereotype that gringos can't dance is totally untrue. I'm gonna prove to you guys tonight that gringos can dance. The trick is, where are you supposed to look? I don't know if I could do it if I wasn't looking straight down at my feet. No, no, at the time, one, two, three, five, six. Yeah, see, that's what no. I'm doing. I don't know if I can do it if I'm not looking down. Okay, right, so we go. One, two, three. Very good. All right. So I asked her so far in the lesson, what, what would she give my chances on a scale of 1 to 10 of being able to turn pro? De 0 a 10, como le diría George? De 0, diría que 0, porque le falta más movimiento de hombros, le falta más movimiento de cadera, soltura, está estresado. Hay que relajarse, George. Okay, I mean, when we were out there dancing, I, it was tough because I had to concentrate on every single move and all I was doing was just focusing on my feet and I was getting frozen and the whole entire time she's trying to talk to me and I didn't even know what she was saying. I was completely ignoring her because all I was doing is I was just so fixated on what was going on with my feet and following every single move that I, I didn't even, I don't think I looked at her the entire time. I gotta admit, all the Colombians are right. Gringos can't dance. <laughs> 